Hello there, my name is Ismaus and welcome to part one of our Blender texturing course. Uh, so this course is meant for beginners and uh, maybe intermediate uh, Blender users. We're not going to go step by step. I'm going to be a little bit fast uh, so that we cover a lot of things without being too repetitive. Uh, also, you can see that uh, this we're going to be texturing this scene, uh, which is basically a medieval office scene and uh, maybe a colonial office. I uh, can see just go to these materials. You can see we are going to be texturing uh, this book. Uh, we have a chair, wooden table, some papers. We have a compass, uh, a quill. I think that's what it's called, this pen here. And then a stamp. Yeah, so some books, uh, maps. Yeah, so these are basic objects, but uh, they, I think they can, they can help us cover a lot of things uh, when it comes to texturing. So another thing you will see, you, you might already have noticed is that uh, all my objects have been UV unwrapped and uh, the reason for that is that uh, I want to focus this course mainly on uh, texturing. That's why I did all the models beforehand and also UV unwrap the, uh, the models. So if you're not very familiar with UV unwrapping or modeling, you can just go to my sec at my main channel, Top Channel 111, one on one, or just go to YouTube and search Top Channel 111 one on one UV mapping. Uh, then you can look at uh, some of the videos I've made about UV mapping so that you can, can run you through uh, the basics of UV unwrapping. And uh, the modeling, if you want to see how I modeled the entire scene, I just go to uh, again to Top Channel 111 one and I will see the video that I did, uh, the time lapse of uh, this uh, modeling uh, for this object, for this scene here. So uh, before we even start diving into the texturing, I want to first uh, talk about the resources that we are going to be using uh, throughout this course. If you want to download the project files that I'm using here, uh, you can just go to my Patreon page, patreon.com stroke top channel one on one, or buy the projects directly from Gumroad, uh, which is uh, where I'm posting most of my projects. I'm, I'll be adding more projects here, uh, as you can see. So another site you might want, you might find interesting is Blender one on one, which is also my website where I usually post uh, screenshots of uh, my projects, uh, say settings uh, or node setups. In case you don't download or get the project files, you can just go to Blender one on one and I look at the screenshots, as you can see from for this for, from this example here of the emoji projects that I did. Uh, you can see the, the render settings I use there, uh, the material settings that I use. You can just look at that and uh, get the feel of uh, what I was trying to do there. Another resource I'll be using, this is not uh, my website, but uh, it's uh, cc0textures.com where you can download free PBR textures uh, to use in your project. This is where most of my textures are going to be coming from, but uh, you can also use uh, texturehaven.com, which is also another another site uh, similar to this. Uh, you can download the, the textures directly from there and uh, use them for your projects as you want. And also recommend as you're taking this course to, to go to any Substance Painter uh, website and look at how their shaders look because Substance Painter is the most used texturing uh, software available. I'm also going to be mimicking how uh, Substance Painter works within Blender. Uh, they really have good realistic uh, shaders so you can look at them and uh, we can start uh, mimicking how those shaders uh, look. Maybe this uh, uh, bronze shader we can use that for uh, maybe this uh, uh, this uh, compass. Yeah so I, I added a variety of objects here so that we can have an interesting course and uh, cover quite a lot of things. Yeah, so again uh, this is a part one of our training course and uh, yeah buckle up and let's get started. 